A few hours ago, I finished watching Dragon Ball Z Bio Broly with the homies in Discord, which I can confidently say is one of the, if not the most underrated animated films to date. In this honest movie review, I'm going to unearth the secret life messages hidden all throughout this film making it something you're guaranteed to appreciate i'm going to also kindly ask that you please stay tuned until the very end as i have a very important message for you there's three quick things that we need to clarify in order to make this review one that you can easily understand and appreciate you see this thing right here the movie refers to it as slime however for scientific purposes we will refer to this as cream all right second we will refer to these genetically modified things as cream creatures uh, which is pretty self-explanatory if you were to ask me and lastly this review might touch on some sensitive sus topics so if you can't handle a little sus then uh, this is your warning let's begin the movie immediately starts off with a tease we see three thick men walk into frame covered in nothing but cream which then shifts over to jaguar the mastermind of these cream creatures if you will and then dr cory who's about to be paid big buffs for apparently playing a vital role in the creation of these cream creatures and then we cut to what is probably the best part of the entire movie the we got a power intro by hironobu kageyama anyways the movie officially begins with kid trunks pretty much making a threat to krillin insinuating that he'll cut off krillin's hair if he doesn't deliver his promise on preparing a big lunch for both goten and trunks which krillin said he would do once hercule pays krillin's baby girl android 18 you really have to appreciate the approach to opening up such an amazing film like this because instead of Trunks asking for the meal Krillin promised, he makes a threat, leveraging his power against Krillin. Although you should never really threaten people, Trunks is teaching us here that if you have an advantage in life, it is to your advantage to take advantage of your advantage. Right after that, a man in a blue coat pulls up in the Dragon Ball equivalent of the DeLorean, if you will, and upon looking up, his buttons snap and his pants fall. This has to be one of my favorite messages in the story. This guy obviously wanted to look good, to be prepared for the business he had with Hercule later that day, but being so caught up in him looking cool, caused him to take the first L in the movie. Do not be that guy. Basically, this mysterious man wanted to invite Hercule to a quick fighting competition where he would face off against special fighters who, by the way, are these cream creatures that we've been talking about. And if Hercule doesn't agree, this man will reveal to the entire world that Hercule is a bed wetter. And this shows us an incredibly useful life hack. Keep your secrets your secrets anywho hercule obviously agrees 18 accompanies him and goten and trunks secretly join along hoping to find an exciting fight as all saiyans do except for you know this man of course nothing really interesting happens when they arrive although i do need to take a second to call out trunks here my man was acting way too sus a dog went up to him and licked his butt and he replied with a few giggles as if he was actually enjoying it now i'm not one to judge but ayo once in the arena though hercule shows he's ready to fight by taking off his cape which is immediately destroyed by the cream creatures when they destroyed it i was honestly taken back with fear i'm not even gonna lie but 18 goten and trunk step in and clapped all of these cream creatures with ease which is when jaguar turns to his ace in the hole revealing his entire laboratory and collection of cream creatures you see before fighting this cream filled men goten and trunks actually spotted meloja a character from dragon ball z second coming and it was later revealed once goten and trunks spotted z broly and one of the tubes used to create the cream men that although broly had actually died in the previous movie there was dried blood found at the scene of the clapping that meloja took knowing jaguar would pay very well for the dna of such a fine fine specimen goten and trunks who cried by the way after seeing broly went to launch an attack aiming at broly's tube but broly broke out causing damage to the entire laboratory this caused a major cream leak in the lab which results in Broly getting creamed, which then results in the birth of the man of the hour, Bio Broly. Now, no sus intended, Hercule was actually about to clap Bio Broly, 
but he unfortunately, you know, had a little stomach ache. So he and Bio Broly starts to literally clap everyone. He one shots and blows the back out of 18. Check it out. And he handles Super Saiyan Goten and Trunks with ease. He is the epitome of an unstoppable monster. Now, this is where I have to hand another L to Trunks. To distract Bio Broly from clapping Goten, Trunks pulls down his pants and literally spanks himself now buyer broly was obviously interested in that ass so he began chasing trunks but right before trunks could get clapped again bio broly got creamed on again turning him purple and causing him to be down for the count and it's pretty funny when you think of it right since the movie really began with broly getting creamed on and basically ended with him getting creamed on. and at this point hercule 18 goat and trunks and the other lab members began to evacuate the premises as the cream was spreading everywhere check it out but that's when goten realized something the cream was weak to water goten trunks and krillin then launched a joint attack dokkan moment by the way to the water causing it to splash all over the land putting an end to the spread of the cream it's really important to note these two really important life lessons here one goten who didn't give up hope was able to witness a weakness in the cream this shows that as long as you stay vigilant you will notice an opportunity to escape any darkness there is always light in darkness the question is are you willing to face the darkness to find the light the second life lesson here is probably more important than the first the cream like i mentioned was stopped by the water. The true final message of this movie gives us the answer to the century old question that water is indeed wet. It really isn't by the way. And of course, Bayer Broly appeared one last time covered in a ton of cream, but gets dried up by the wetness of the water when combined with the liquid of the cream, putting a stop to him once and for all. The movie ends with Goku eating and being summoned to hell with PyCon to battle against Broly in hell. And this actually confirms that Janumba is Broly. But let me explain, okay? The movie after Bio Broly was none other than Fusion Reborn, the film that granted us the gift of the greatest fusion of all time, Gogeta. Now remember, Gogeta was dealing with an evil in hell known as Janemba. But before Gogeta appeared, it was Goku and Paikon who were dealing with that evil in hell. The Dragon Ball math really adds up. Broly is Janemba, Janemba is Broly. Honestly, case closed. This review concludes the Bio Broly celebration, one that I promised I would do if my channel hits 40,000 subscribers by the end of the seventh year anniversary on the hit game Dragon Ball Z Dokkan Battle. Thank you so much for not only passing that goal, but absolutely crushing it. You made this possible, not me. me Memes aside, I love each and every one of you so much for making this a reality, and I genuinely can't wait to see where we go next. If you want to see another subscriber celebration thing like this, let me know what you would like to see and which milestone is deserving of that celebration in the comments. If you would like to rewatch or relive the horror that is the Bio Broly celebration, the full playlist is available on my channel. Thank you. <laughs>